Hey everybody, it's Dr. Lori. On today's Ask Dr. Lori, we're gonna talk about what if you're eating too much protein and how can you tell or what are some of the side effects you might have as a result of too much protein. So last year I did a competition and in order to do the competition to get ready to go on the uh, National Physique Competitor stage, I had to eat more protein than what I was used to. So typically, when we look at a nutrition program, a lot of people get about half their body weight in protein in grams of protein. So I had typically had gotten um, around between 60 to 80 grams of protein a day was what I was consuming prior to starting training for this competition. When I was training for the competition, I was getting closer to between 130 and 150 grams of protein in order to build lean muscle. So when you're competing at a level like that and you're being followed by a nutritionist or a trainer and somebody who's certified in order to follow you for that kind of regimen, that much protein is fine but not for the long term. Just remember, this is not something that you wanna do for the long term. So in terms of how long do we wanna do this um, and, and what can it do to our bodies? Well, I'm gonna give you five different things that it could possibly do to your bodies and maybe you will be able to relate to some of these things that I'm going to bring up. So number one, Typically when you're going on a higher protein, maybe even a higher fat, so you're talking maybe of Atkins type of diet to where you're really low carbing it. So with very low carbs and higher amounts of protein and fat, one of the first things that a lot of people will notice, especially those people around you, is that your breath might be a little bit more foul and also maybe you might have a little bit more foul body odor. Now this is a reality. If you're going to cut carbs out which are a good source of maybe fresh fruits, um, maybe some um, higher fiber like rice and quinoa and different grains in that food category and you're just eating copious amounts of meat. We're talking about beef, chicken, fish, your body has to digest all of that and if you keep giving it more and more and more sometimes that actually can ferment and cause what we call putrefaction in the gut. Now that just sounds disgusting as it is. So you can brush your teeth, you can use breath mints, but at the end of the day you're still going to have very pretty foul smelling breath because it's coming from inside, it's coming from your gut. Um, that's one of the issues that comes up a lot and also you can tell like your body sense people maybe even notice around you that your body smells a little bit different um, maybe their perspiration or your armpit odors are a little bit different than um, other people's might be and it might be a little bit more foul and that's also because it's coming from within and so meat has a different um, scent when you actually have it coming off of your body. So just know that that's one of the things that you may run into when we're dealing with um, a ketosis state. So when you your body's actually going into fat burning rather than carb burning, um, it has a different scent for you. Uh, the second thing that we want to take a look at is your mood. You can get moodier. So in general, you probably know people who are on weight loss programs that uh, it seems like when they're low carbing it that they have a really bad mood. And this is something that I noticed when I was lower carbing it that I had a shorter fuse, that I was moodier, uh, more prone to depression when you're lower on the carbs because your brain requires a certain amount of uh, glycogen. So in order to um, glucose for your brain, you need to consume carbohydrates because it needs to feed your brain. So because of this, also it takes glucose to make serotonin. Um, so if you're not getting enough glucose in your diet, it's not stimulating that release of serotonin. And so this is a really important point that a lot of people miss. And so it really will mess with your mood. And those around you, if you are doing a diet like this, will notice that a change in your mood. So don't blame it on the hormones, which in actuality it is your hormones because you are kind of messing with your hormones when you're low carving for too long. There is a danger. Doctors have probably told you this in the past. I've actually seen it when I was going through pharmacy school and, and I saw um, a very young man who was, let, I, I believe he was 18 years old, who ended up with um, kidney failure. And he ended up with kidney failure because he was doing bodybuilding and then he was also doing uh, creatine. 
And so he was using sources to build his muscles. So with the danger for the kidney is that when you consume lots of meat, you have nitrogen byproducts. And it also is making your kidney works harder, your kidney work harder to filter the toxins and, and break down the meat so that's usable amino acids, which are building blocks for protein in your body. So if you don't have this, your kidneys have to work harder. So all day long, you're putting your body in a state to where it's constantly working harder. So a lot of people also will notice um, more fatigue because in general, number one, your gut is working harder to digest all that meat that's going through there because it takes longer to break down than something like a simple sugar um, that you find in fruits or a fibrous vegetable that you might have. So these are things to pay close attention to. Um, also, so we talked about your mood. You also might have an issue with uh, GI issues. As I said before, constipation. So we are noticing that if you are not getting the 25 to 35 grams of, pro of fiber, that you're going to feel bloated and constipated and have issues like that. And finally, the one thing that we don't want to do is we don't want to do something that's going to make us gain weight. So a lot of the guys who are into really heavy bodybuilding and weightlifting and are eating huge amounts, um, sometimes two or 300 grams of protein a day, um, they're doing it because they're trying to build muscle mass. Um, us girls, for the most part, when we're in the gym and we're trying to um, trim down and we're trying to get to a certain size or maybe a certain weight, we're not trying to build that much muscle. So if you overconsume the amount of protein that your body cannot assimilate into usable energy, that actually will sabotage you and start storing itself in the form of weight gain. So if you're not cutting out um, other stuff, the fact of the matter is, is that you're going to actually gain weight. So these are five of the things that you should watch for um, if you're consuming high amounts of protein. Again, sometimes more less is is sometimes more is not better. And so with that, if you have any other questions for me, please come back, ask Dr. Lori. Go ahead and visit me on www.healyourselfbeautiful.com and um, give me some questions that you'd like answered on my next Ask Dr. Lori. So take care and have a great day.